10th annual Light of Day here in Niagara Falls, Ontario, Canada. Uh, we donated $20,000. Uh, it's a good start, uh, but we've got our sights set on bigger numbers for next year. There's a job to be done. It's tough. We've been doing this since 2007. It's a labor of love. The Steel of Joe Grusecki line, uh, all the volunteers, it's, you know, I, I tend to get the accolades, but... We've got so many people that have helped. It takes a village to put on these shows, and we've raised a lot of money, but that's because of all the business sponsors in this region, and Kingston and Toronto and in London, and all of our volunteers. I mean, even tonight, they've been, they were godsend. And so I thank all of them and everybody that came out. Gonna miss all of, seeing everybody. Uh, like I said, it's a lot of work, and so, uh, you know, I, I don't wanna say I'm not gonna miss that, because there, there's, a, there's a rush you get from doing all this. But I'm not, a, as you can see, I'm not a young guy anymore. So we'll leave this to the young guys. I think we did a good job. We raised half a million dollars uh, in our time, we're close to half a million dollars, and uh, put on 51 shows uh, in seven cities. So I'm proud of everything we accomplished. It's sad, but we're going to have one hell of a time tonight here at Taz Brew House because there's some fun jams that are going to happen. Post-COVID, uh, the world changed, and you know the city's got a lot of great acts coming. We got A-listers now, and uh, it's it's tough uh, selling tickets. And, and you know I think we had a pretty good lineup with Teenage Head and Jay Clements, but the tickets weren't selling. And because we're a charity, we don't have the luxury of having you know extra cash to lose a few here and there. We have to make money. So we had to make a decision with six weeks left. We had only sold 70 tickets out of a thousand. I mean that's uh, it was a little disappointing, but I know that people hold on to their money to the very end these days, right? It's changed quite a bit. So, you know, we, we had to pivot, and one of our guys said, instead of canceling, let's have a party. And I thought, yes, let's have a party. That's how, that's how it started. It's very roots-oriented light of day. So we're kind of going out the way we came in. You know, son, I never doubted your aspirations. But it's just so hard. Oh, what a lineup we got. Uh, so we start off with uh, the Rick Rose Trio, and then we got Jake Matheson from Minnesota with uh, Danny Gochner accompanying him from the House Rockers. Uh, right after that, I can say this, we got the Evan Rotel and his all-star band. The, for the first time, uh, Evan's actually playing Light of Day with a band. He's played Light of Day before, so to have his son play is cool. Uh, right after that, we've got... Uh, Let's see, after that, oh, LMT Connection, my God, with Mark Rogers. After that, we've got Jin the Band, Stephen Stanley Band, Stephen's from the lowest of the low, fantastic band. And uh, Joe Durso, who you just met, will be doing an acoustic set. And uh, at, to close us, oh, Dave Ray from Teenage Head doing an acoustic set. And to close us all off, Bobby Mahoney and the Seventh Son from New Jersey. They've opened up for Bon Jovi. He's like my American son, and he's putting on a great finale. Everybody's gonna get up and jam. I wanna thank, the Niagara region, all the businesses that have supported us, all the volunteers, all the businesses out in Kingston, all the businesses in London and Toronto who uh, were our sponsors and the volunteers out there. I especially want to thank the three amigos, my, well, myself, but Sammy Grasso who ran uh, Light of Day Toronto, Greg who, who, uh, Campbell who ran Light of Day uh, in London, uh, and Gord Hunter and Jeanette who ran Light of Day Kingston. And a shout out to Light of Day Hamilton and Andrea Rayhill and Peter Elkis because they helped us put those on. I want to thank those guys because they, you know, I get the accolades like I said earlier, but it, there's way too many people that put this thing on to make me look a little better than I am. How you look at me is how I look at you.